Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today how you can change and customize your Flipgrid grid header. Even though they have some nice ones, you might want to design your own style. So the first thing you can do is go to Google Slides. You're going to do File, Page Setup, and you're going to change your size of your paper. You're going to come and change it from inches to pixels. And the size that Flipgrid suggests is 1500 by 500 pixels. Now you can play around with something nice. You can make a nice background by hitting change background. You can choose an image or you can pick your own colors. Google has this nice gradient feature which really can make some nice um, colors. So you can come here and change this. Let's say I want like a bright pink and over here I might want a bright blue. So that's kind of like a really nice look. You can change it and have it coming off from one side. However you prefer is up to you. You can even add more pieces. So like if I wanted to throw a different color, a white, you can split that up or take it off. So if this is what I'm happy with, I can stick with that. Now there's two different things. You can either insert a text box or what I like to really use is word art because it makes these bubble letters. So I'm gonna call this enrichment kindergarten or kindergarten enrichment. And you can see that it's kind of like a photo versus individual letters. So I can stretch them out real big and it looks more like bubble letters. You can come here and change the inside so you can make it any color you want. I'm going to kind of do white so it pops. And you can change the line color. If you put, if you change the thickness with these three little lines, it's going to give it that nice pop. And then you can come in and change the font. And if you use bubble letters with these, they really look really the best. If you use something too thin, it might kind of look funny. You can see there. So I'm gonna use these bubble letters just cause it's kindergarten. So I wanna want them to be able to see it, but be easy to read. And now I'm done. You can add pictures, you can add anything you want. And I'm going to download this as a JPEG. So file, download, and hit JPEG. I'm going to go back into my grid and I'm going to hit the pencil. And when you scroll down, you'll see this part that allows you to personalize it. You're going to click and find the file that you just downloaded. And it's going to ask you to crop it, so make sure when you're making it, you don't go all the way to the edges. But once you upload it, you are good to go. And now you have a wonderful new header that will be great for your students. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe below for more tutorials.